Hi there. On this video, I'm going to work through the three number problems that were on the handout that you received in class. Okay, first thing we're going to do is write down what we're trying to find. In this case, we are trying to find the number of boys and the number of girls in the class. Okay, number two, that's our let statement. We need to decide what we're going to start with, and we always start with what we know the least about. I know something about the number of boys. There's 10 less than the number of girls. I don't know anything about the number of girls. So I'm going to let x equal the number of girls. I also need to represent the number of boys. And when I look at this, there are 10 less boys than girls. So if I know the number of girls, I need to subtract 10 or excuse me, subtract 11 to get the number of boys. So if I have the number of girls, I'm going to subtract the number 11 to get the number of boys. All right, step 3 is our equation. What I know is that there are 63 students in the class. Now that means boys plus girls. So I'll take the number of girls plus the number of boys, and that's got to equal 63. Now, when we add polynomials, we do not need to have the parentheses around that. Come on. Okay, so I just need to solve that. Okay, now I've solved that, and I get x equals 37. But I also need to consider that I'm supposed to find the boys and the girls. So I know that there are 37 girls, but I also need x minus 11, which is 37 minus 11, which is 26. So write both of those down, circle them, and then go over to the right and write your number 4. And then for number 5, we write a conclusion that answers step 1. So, therefore, there are 37 girls and 26 boys in class. Now, um, these three dots written in a triangle just stand for the word therefore. If you'd rather write the word therefore, that's fine. Okay, here's the next problem. If 3 subtracted from twice a number is equal to 31 more than 3 times the number, what is the number? We are trying to find, step 1 is always find, we're trying to find one number. Sometimes we're trying to find 2 or maybe even 3. Step 2 is going to be our let. Now if we're just finding one number, it's pretty easy. We just let n equal the number. For step 3, I need to do some translating. First of all, it says if 3 is subtracted from, okay, if I subtract 3 from something, that's going to look like this. What am I subtracting it from? I'm subtracting it from twice a number. Okay, so 2n minus 3. Now, is equal to obviously that's my equal sign. Then on the other side I've got 31 more than 3 times the number. So 31 more than means we're going to add 31 to something 3 times the number. So 3n and there's my equation. Now to solve it I need to get the n terms on one side, the numbers on the other side and then finish with the equation. All right, I got n equals negative 34. I circle that, right across from that I put my number 4, and then my conclusion would be therefore the number is negative 34. All right. 
Here's our next problem. Find two consecutive even integers such that 4 times the smaller is equal to 4 more than 3 times the larger. All right, now if you're trying to find consecutive even integers, that would be like 8, 10, 12, 14, and so forth. Those are consecutive even integers. Consecutive odd integers would be 9, 11, 13, 15, and so forth. Consecutive integers would be 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth. Okay, I want to show you what happens when you look at those different um, sets of numbers. First of all, if I have consecutive even integers and I label the first one n, how do you get from that to the next one? Well, you add 2. So this one would be n plus 2. To get from here to here, you add 2 again, so it would be n plus 2 plus 2 more, or more simply, n plus 4. And to get from here to here, it would be n plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 more, n plus 6. Now, the biggest mistake I see is people think that if it's consecutive odds, it's n, n plus 1, n plus 3, n plus 5. But the same thing holds true. How do you get from one to the next? You add 2. So this is n plus 2 as well. And then you add 2 again. So this would be n plus 4. You add 2 again. This would be n plus 6. So both of these have the same let statements. It just depends on what you start with. If you start with an even, adding 2 will get you the next even. If you start with an odd, you'll get the next odd. And now, simply for consecutive integers, here we're just adding 1. So this one is n plus 1. And if I add 1 again, I'm at n plus 2. Add 1 again, I'm at n plus 3, and so forth. Alright, so let's go back to our problem with step 2. I'm looking at consecutive even integers, so I'm going to let n equal an even integer. Now if I want the next consecutive even integer, that would be n plus 2. Okay, let's look at our equation. Find two consecutive even integers such that four times the smaller, okay, four times n, n is smaller than n plus two, four times the smaller is equal to, there's my equal signs, okay, my equal sign is right there, and then it's equal to what? Four more than three times the larger. Okay, four more than three times the larger. Okay, now three times n plus two, because n plus two is a quantity, you must put it in parentheses. All right, now I just need to solve that. Okay, I've solved my equation and I get n equals 10. Now, I also need, besides just n, I need this one, I need n plus two. So, n plus two, would have to be 10 plus 2, which is 12. So those two together make up my step 4, and my step 5 would be to write my conclusion. Therefore, the integers are 10 and 12. Now, before you leave this problem, Please always make sure that your answer actually makes sense. If you had gotten n equals 11 or n equals 4 fifths, that would be an indication that you made a mistake somewhere because you're supposed to get, up here, I'm supposed to get consecutive even integers. So if you got something that's not an even integer, then go back and take a look. Always make sure that your answer makes sense. Alright, here's a summary of some things that you should keep in mind when you do number problems. First of all, the word sum 
means you're going to add. Difference means you're going to subtract. If you see words like more than or increased by, they also mean you're going to add. Less than is subtraction. And then also I wrote down there what you have to look at for your let statements when you have consecutive even integers, odd integers, or regular integers.